Hello, and welcome to another Amico tutorial. Today, we'll be building a mini coral reef sculpture by hand while diving into a discussion regarding the delicate, beautiful flora and creatures that inhabit reefs and the dangers they face today. To begin, have your students research and sketch different types of coral and the aquatic species that live in these regions. Four or five species could fit nicely on each sculpture. Everyone's unique sculpture is going to need the same type of base. Coral reefs typically appear as huge, color-coded rocks surrounded by fish and other species. Because of this, we are going to pinch out our own tiny rock to grow our coral reef on top of. Start with a ball of clay and push your thumbs into the clay, leaving a support wall on the inside that spans the diameter of the rock. This will help with stability while you're building. So next, I'll show you the species I picked out to build my reef and how I chose how to construct them. To start, I picked tube coral. These long cylindrical structures are easy to create by rolling a fat cylinder, boring out the center with a tool of some sort, and then slipping and scoring each tube to the rock base. Another type of coral we're used to seeing is brain coral. These chunky round structures can be built by cutting a hole in the base and then pinching a tiny bowl-like structure to slip and score over the hole. We'll add more details to this one in a little bit. To add textural details like pebbles, algae, lichens, and more, it's easiest to score all around one of your reef features and then roll and adhere balls of clay one after another until the surface is covered. This is easiest to do if the clay that you're adding to the surface is particularly wet. Returning to the brain coral, I'm going to do something similar here to create the strange brain-like texture that this species is named for. Score the surface of the coral and then roll coils from wet clay and arrange these coils in wiggly patterns all over the surface of the coral. Some species of coral, like fan coral, are upright and flat. These beautiful structures can be built by either rolling out a slab and cutting out the shape of the coral, or by pinching the shape out and carving or adding details later. To attach the coral to the surface, score and slip both the base and the coral and smooth them together. Anemones are fascinating and colorful creatures that you see in healthy thriving reefs. These are a fun one to make. Start by scoring your base and then roll a small, solid cylinder between your fingers and score it and slip it to your base. Do this a few times until you have a small family ready to go. From there, using the end of a tool or a nib, open a hole in the center of each cylinder. Then, roll five or six tiny tapered coils to put together into a bundle. These make the tentacles. Score and slip the inside of each cylinder, as well as the end of the tentacle bundles, and then press them down inside firmly to ensure that they adhere. You can fluff them up a little bit once they are securely in place. As an easy way to fill up some space, I added a couple of sand dollars to my reef. Simply score the base, pinch out a couple of tiny pancakes, and score and slip them to the base. Then, using a carving tool, carefully carve a five-pointed star into each sand dollar. The final species I have chosen to add to my reef sculpture is a starfish. These creatures can be made simply by rolling out five tapered coils, scoring the base, and then adhering the coils in a star shape and pressing them onto the surface firmly so they join properly. The reefs can be finished by adding desired details with carving, slip trailing, and more. There are thousands of species of reef dwellers out there to choose from, so get creative with some of the techniques shown in this video to create a unique coral reef scene. Once the pieces have dried completely and have been bisked, it's time to glaze. I chose glazes from our Crystal Tex line mostly because of their bright, unique spotted appearance. Be sure each piece has a clean base and the proper number of coats of each glaze before loading an O5 glaze kiln. When the pieces are done, it's a good time to host a last good discussion about the beauty of coral reefs, the modern dangers they face, and how understanding and preserving coral reefs can save their future, and our own. We thank you for joining us for another Amico lesson plan, and we hope you enjoyed the experience of using art and clay to learn more about the beautiful world of coral reefs.